In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today we have the Feast of the Holy Name of Jesus. The epistle is from the Book of the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said to them, Ye princes of the people and ancients, hear, if we this day are examined concerning the good deed done to the infirm man, by what means he hath been made whole, be it known to you all, and to all the people of Israel, that by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God hath raised from the dead, even by him this man standeth here before you whole. This is the stone which was rejected by you, the builders, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given to men, whereby we must be saved. We stand for read the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. At that time, after eight days were accomplished that the child should be circumcised, his name was called Jesus, which was called by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. So, our Lord was... Uh, chosen to be called Jesus by the Father. He was called by the angel we just read. We just read the same gospel yesterday, so you should remember it now. Uh, before, uh, uh, by the angel before he was conceived. So the ch Father had chosen this name from the beginning. But we read in uh, St. Paul uh, that uh, our Lord merited uh, to have this name raised above all other names by his uh, humility and his obedience. He was obedient even unto death, unto the death of the cross. Therefore, uh, God has given him a name that is above all other names. And then in the name of Jesus, every head should bow and every knee should bend of all those on earth, uh, in, in the heavens and under the earth. So uh, his name is exalted above every other name by, by his humility to have this great name. And now St. Saint, Saint Peter works a miracle in the name of Jesus. He says it's in this name, uh, that the, the name that was rejected by you. He says, the Pharisees, you rejected him, but it's in this name that this man is made whole. This man is, this man is cured. Uh, the, man, the lame man that was cured, was cured by the name of Jesus. And so this is what St. Peter is explaining, and that he's the head of the corner, and we have to preach this name, and no other name, because there's no other name which is useful uh, for the salvation of men. So the Pharisees, at the time of our Lord, they rejected him. The priest, the high priest, rejected him. They had him executed. Uh, they got the Romans to execute him for them. And uh, they rejected him. But St. Peter now, after the resurrection, is saying this is the only name where anybody can be saved. And so we have to honor our Lord. And we have to honor his name now. And we hope that we will see one day in heaven the one who bears this name. We will, we will see our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven, uh, the one that has made this name so far above every other name. And this name is now again rejected uh, by the Second Vatican Council. They said, we're going to say, no, you don't need to. Uh, have uh, our Lord's name. You can use some other name if you want. You can find some other name and it'll be good for you. And we have Pope Francis now finding uh, Pacamama and who knows who else uh, that he's honoring, but already uh, Pope uh, John Paul uh, honored all the uh, false gods of the uh, infidels and the pagans and said yes, and they've honored the Buddhists and they've honored Allah of the Mohammedans and they've honored all these other names. And these other names are useless for salvation. And honoring these names will uh, profit us unto death, not profit us unto life. So we have to honor uh, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We have to serve him. We have to proclaim him as king. And we have to say, at, yes, at this name, uh, we must uh, bow our heads and bend our knees because this is the name uh, that is given to us uh, for our salvation. So let's... Uh, Yes, that we might always have a great love and, uh, and respect for the name of our Lord, treat it with always with respect, and that uh, we might uh, know that uh, by calling on our Lord, uh, we will obtain uh, salvation. So it's through Him that we ask. He said, he said uh, Himself, uh, Henceforth you have asked nothing in my name. 
but, in the, but now if you ask the Father in my name, uh, well, you know, the Father will give you uh, what you want. He will, he will answer your prayer, not because of yourself, but because you've asked in my name. So this is the, the church has learned, and until the council, the church always asks in her prayers, for Domino Nostrum, Jesum Christum Filium Tuum. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, thy Son, we ask these prayers. This is what the church always says, and this is what we must continue to say if we want our prayers to be heard in heaven. And if we ask through some other name, well, they will not be heard in heaven. Uh, they will not be heard in heaven. And uh, the ones that bear those names, the devils that bear those names that we ask, uh, well, they'll be laughing at us uh, and saying, you're asking in my foolish name, and uh, I, I can do nothing uh, for you. So let's um, uh, always remember that we have to honor our Lord's name. We have to proclaim him king. We have to say yes everywhere. Uh, he must reign and his name must be respected and exalted above all other names. In the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost.